just before we begin, I'll mention that uh, this is once again an annual event where we on the minority side uh, bring a number of rules changes that we would see, like to see incorporate into the assembly rules. Uh, I would like to indicate that this year's list is a little bit shorter than the list we've had in the past, uh, because I have to say in the last year, uh, the majority has made uh, some rules changes. I do commend them on that. Uh, some of the changes they made seems very similar to ones we proposed in the past. And again, uh, I will simply go and appreciate whatever uh, similarity may be by coincidence. Uh, but one thing again is we do believe that there are opportunities for additional changes uh, in the rules as well. Uh, but as far as one concern as well too, uh, we acknowledge on this side of the aisle that the majority rules and that the majority side has more than 76 votes and we do not have 76 votes. And the, the rules that we bring forth today not one of these rules upends that principle of majority rule whatsoever. What the rules that we seek to bring today, we think just increases the transparency, the efficiency, and the great representation of all the members that we represent of the 19.8 million people in the state of New York. And that's the basis for the rules we bring today. Uh, to start with the rule, the first one which we bring today uh, is one which, uh, that I actually came up with by just knowing our practices in the last year. And what it comes down to is that many times when we begin our session each day, we start with introductions of guests. And certainly we're very pleased to go and start with that introduction of guests each day. But there were times in the month of June where it was taking us over two and a half hours just to get through the introductions before we even get to the vote of our first bill for the day. So what this rule today does is simply limit the introduction for the time of the guests to two minutes per member. Indeed, if multiple members want to recognize a guest, that is still allowable. Uh, but it would, again, confine to a certain period of time, which is the same that we allow for explaining our vote on a bill. If it takes us two minutes to explain our vote on a bill, no reason we, are, we should also limit it to two minutes per uh, member per introduction of a guest. Also, what the rule entails is the fact that many times people say that during a rule, one member shouldn't be advocating for a bill or advocating for what the group is here on a certain bill. And even though that may be the feeling or the myth of the rules, there's nothing in the current rules which prohibit that. So I think for uh, equal headness in everyone, not is it limited to two minutes, but would not allow members also to go and tail in further advocacy outside the scope of an actual debate. Uh, so that's my basis behind that rule, and I would urge its adoption. Thank you.